inferior turbinectomy. When should we perform turbinate surgery? Turbinate surgery is a very specific part of nasal airway correction surgery, which we routinely perform for patients who come to us for nasal blockage. Turbinate surgery is of various types, from lateralization of the turbinate to mucosal ablation to turbinoplasty and to inferior turbinectomy when we remove a part of the inferior turbinate. There are various ways of performing turbinate surgery, but with our consciousness and awareness of the complication of empty nerve syndrome, a lot of research and theory has gone into what is the best way of performing a turbinoplasty or an turbinate reduction surgery. Turbinate reduction surgery is now largely performed using mucosal sparing techniques. That means the medial mucosal layer that faces the nasal cavity is never touched because removing that or touching it causes loss of sensation and the loss of sensation can sometimes lead to the syndrome of empty nose syndrome or can sometimes cause crusting and subsequent secondary atrophic rhinitis. So our current technology is to do a mucosal sparing turbinoplasty in which largely we use micro debriders. So currently if you ask me the way we touch and operate upon the turbinate is a mucosal sparing a micro debrider assisted turbinoplasty which gives a satisfactory results in the long term. There is no bleeding that we can see. The turbinates are touched only submucosally and the medial mucosal layer which is very very critical for functioning as well as for ciliary function is left intact.